So if I told you you had one meal left to live, what would it be? And I can probably guarantee you it's not going to be the thing that you probably eat every single day. In fact, it's going to be something on your fear food list, something that you've restricted yourself from that gives you happiness, that gives you joy, that you've been saying one day, in like when I'm recovered, when I'm recovered, I'm going to be okay eating this food. You know, one day I'll build myself up to eating this food again, but it will probably be a one-off or I can't ever see, or a lot of you probably think I won't ever see myself being comfortable eating that food again. So what I'm doing in this video today, I'm eating your fear foods for a day. Now, a lot of your fear foods are still my fear foods too, but not just that is I'm challenging your food rules for a day because spoiler alert a lot of your food rules are actually my food rules too and they're coming from a lot of DMs I've gotten in Instagram a lot of questions I've gotten from you guys and I lived 15 years with anorexia and every single day I would tell myself that I'm never gonna have that favorite meal again that last meal I would play that game in my head because I would genuinely rather die than eat those foods. I was just like, oh, you know, I'll never eat my favorite food again. French toast, bagels, waffles, cinnamon waffles, whatever. Truth is, we never know how much longer we have left. No one does. That's the fickleness of life. No one knows. So to live for an irrational fear of what might happen tomorrow and restrict yourself from doing something that makes you happy today is not worth it. Best I've done on my journey have been when you guys have pushed me, when you guys have called me out in videos for not going far enough and I want to be that person for you. So if this is the help, the support, the encouragement you need on your journey, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. I post videos every Mondays and Thursdays. People can say, yeah, these challenges are extreme, Jax, you're not going to live these extremes during your day, you can't eat every single meal, big, bougie, fancy. But the truth is, I do have to resort to extremes in the opposite direction because I'm coming from an extreme to the other direction. So because I lived so long in that extreme, yes, these challenges can seem extreme and over the top, but sometimes it takes those extreme actions to pull yourself out of an extreme place. And that's what today is all about. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so it is freakishly early right now. Um, a lot of you guys said waffles was one of your big fear foods and of course having something sweet and pastry like in the morning which is also one of mine and then also not making the waffles myself so you'll have like health waffles that are like ingredients with bananas and egg whites or flax eggs or something like that but these Tesco's sugar waffles with regular maple syrup because like I said, everyone's like okay with a fear food. If it's like a controlled version of that fear food, like a sugar-free, low-carb maple syrup or whatever like that. And so it's getting used to the real versions of foods again. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through all three. Like, listen up, Linda. That was very, very optimistic of me. But I plated it. And the whole idea of today is just to go through the day and just think Screw it. One limitation out with what out one restriction. Do I feel anxiety? Freak yes, I feel anxiety. I feel so uncomfortable and I, I just I despise these days, but I know they're good for me. And and that's what essentially what I'm fighting for, for pushing through the fear today. So yes, I feel as much fear as you do with your fear foods, but I do it anyway. And that's that's where my head is at so cheers for breakfast last night we had something tonight i'll be kissing but i don't really have a case you don't have to mention you just like their attention it's written all over your face these are so sweet. They did not need that maple syrup. I thought I was going to get slated, but they're already daft in icing sugar. I don't want to play the quiet time when I'm near you. Reading old messages on my phone every time I see you.
okay so just before I go and I have a shower I just wanted to talk to you guys quick a breakfast like that the whole idea of these days, like eating your fear foods for a day, yes, it's fun and challenging and you're like, Jax, how does it help you? Well, maybe the fact that they scare me just as much, these days are about getting as far out of my comfort zone as I can possibly get. And you know that whole like, cliche phrase, you know, true growth only happens outside your comfort zone, like nothing ever actually grows inside your comfort zone. And that's true. I know if I can get through a day where I am so severely uncomfortable, every second meal of the day, it is pushing myself. And yes, I push myself in everyday recovery, but not to the point like today, that like days like this, where I think it's healthy to challenge every single rule you have and to be uncomfortable. Because like I said, in the most uncomfortable places, that's where true growth happens. And the day that a breakfast like that isn't uncomfortable for me or isn't a fear food i understand why it's your fear foods because it's mine too and the day that that's not one of my fear foods and i can go to an ihop and order the, like waffles whenever i want that's a day when i know i've grown and i'm outside of that whole unhealthy mindset that we end up conditioning ourselves into during recovery so that's just where my head is at now. Yes, these days are for fun and games and they're entertaining to watch. But the whole idea if someone's like, well, it's so silly that you're eating so much. Well, yeah, because it makes me freaking uncomfortable. And if I'm growing as a person and if I'm just trying to get to that normal place, I do have to go extreme because my mindset is in the extreme on the other side. So yes, it may look extreme to some people, but that's because, like I said, I'm shifting from another extreme. Thought I'd throw that tidbit in, I swear. But it's super early in the morning, it's like 6 a.m. So by the time, so I'm probably gonna be hungry later to shower. So right here, you guys can see, I've got flatbread with a bucket load of cheese on it, I've got mushrooms, and I've got some bacon in here. Let's just like zoom in on that bad boy. A lot of you are scared about, well, this type of stuff for lunch, whether it's breads, whether it's cheeses, but so often I have people saying to me that, Jax, I mean, I want this when I'm hungry for a snack, but I'm worried that's more of a main meal. Like a big fear food of everyone is having something bigger than a snack for a snack, if that makes sense. Snacks are the most important thing where someone even asked me for small snack ideas, and I'm like, because you're so scared that what if you're extra hungry at snack time? Does that mean you can't have a mini meal? Or like, this is a mini meal. If I was having this for lunch, I would have two of these. Um, even though it's got a bucket load of cheese on it and stuff. But, and, and, the, and the bacon, of course, because everyone seems to be scared of bacon. But the whole issue was like, it had to constitute as what you would think would be an appropriate snack. But it, like, and then someone said to me, but what if I'm hungry before lunch? And it's such a fear we have after breakfast. So I, a lot of the time people will say, okay, I'll force myself to wait until lunch because then I can technically have my next meal. But if, so a fear was also the time of day, it's a food rule. What happens if I want a mini meal in the middle of the day? And the whole rule is don't compensate at lunchtime because maybe you had a bigger snack. Big food rule of people as well. So I'm gonna nosh on my pizza bread and I'm gonna see you. My favorite thing in the world, by the way. Then said you have found your place. Not sure if I want this. You don't think that I notice. This isn't like giving you space. I don't want to play the quiet type when I'm near you. Pretending that I don't know who you are every time I.
Okay, so I couldn't talk much with the burger because everything was busy, it was full, it was crowded, it was loud, and everyone was like, Jax, can't talk right now to yourself in the cup. Not only was it a big fear food that came up everywhere, I think I've got to do a vegan burger for all my vegan folks out there because I might do a full vegan day of your fear foods. If you want, let me know in the comment section down below. If not, if you like Jax, I don't really get it. What my feelings? Anyway, burger. It has the red meat patty in it. It has the seeded bun. I went all bougie with the toppings, with the sauces. Not only that, a big food rule of yours is usually having a salad for lunch, or it is having something, we'll say, less extravaganza when you had a big snack. And I was like, no matter what your snack is, do not compensate for the next meal because that's a food rule. It's a food challenge. It's a food everything. Oh of my existence for a snack now because it's a little bit later. I have got two slices of banana bread. Now I looked all over the show for pumpkin bread because one of you had put in the comments that you were really nervous to have pumpkin bread. I have been high and low, but this country does not like to cooperate with all things pumpkin. Mind you, they have just had the pumpkin spice latte in Starbucks, which I think is just absolutely gorgeous. So I've got two slices of banana bread here. And again, it's because it's a banana bread. It was one of those like artisan bakery banana breads. So I don't know how much is in it. It came fresh out of the bakery. There is no calorie count on it. And a lot of you, another big food rule and a big fear food of yours was not knowing the calorie count of the food. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna eat food without a calorie count together because that shouldn't have to determine the foods we eat. And of course, because banana came up on everyone's list. Ooh, that is cakey. Oh my god! And Christmas cake. Gran, if you're watching this, I'm so excited to come see you for Christmas because my gran makes real Christmas cake. She starts soaking it now in brandy. Oh. 21 and above, folks. It's on the edge. We fight and make love at the same time. Would you break up just because I told you what I did last night? Times you said you're sorry But still I'm not sure if you told lies But I don't care, it's all forgotten now We're holy when we touch anyhow Holy when we touch anyhow oh. Give me a chance to make it right Just let me touch you like the first time The cinnamon in this has had it to be the most satisfying, moist piece. I hate the word moist. Jax, don't say moist on camera. But it's the most moist piece of banana bread I've ever had. Moist enough for me to say the word moist. So for dinner, we've got this shepherd's pie, which is pre-made from... Waitrose and it's just got the cream in the mashed potatoes, it's got the mince in it, all that fun stuff. Let's keep on with the bad guys. With the bad guys. a lot for your fear foods it was regular ice cream especially the vegans were just like you know regular normal full fat vegan ice cream or other people you know you guys feel comfortable with halo top but then like i said you're so limited when you go to a grocery store for the rest of your life it's a quasi habit so what i did is i've got my london dairy vanilla ice cream that i've showed before and what i'm gonna do again a lot of you worried about portion sizes so having something that scares you without knowing how much you're eating of it that's why i like to recommend that you don't like use a scale or anything but it's so sweet 
Honestly, it's just so sweet and so creamy. There's a freedom in not knowing the numbers, not knowing how much you're going to eat, not having a specific type of number. Challenging your fear food comes with a freedom. It really, really does. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go eat this with my family and then I'm going to check in with you guys later. Wait, anyway, guys, that bolognese was pretty much the best thing I've had in I don't know how long it was incredible like I, I loved it it was something i'd missed so much i said every single part of today was such a freaking challenge for me and i'm hoping that you guys feel that same type of confidence to challenge yourself too don't live the rest of your life thinking and wishing about that last meal that might never happen have it today because life is worth it life is worth being happy and if you did like this video don't forget to hit the like button let me know in the comment section down below if i missed out any of your fear foods which ones you want to see me try i am going to be doing a fall inspired video so let me know your favorite fall comfort foods down below and i'm going to see you in my next video Mwah.